here's the thing. And because I know this broadcast is going to go worldwide and blah, 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 I'm just going to say it right now, I'm still trying to get those rights. In fact, I've been having discussions with one of the IP just this past month on LinkedIn about it. Here's what happened. I wanted to get the rights because I love that game so much, and I was very upset that, you know, Volition went their own way, you know, the kind of the franchise kind of died. You know, it's no different from, you know, all the resurgence right now of space games, you know. So I thought, you know what? I'm in between projects. I was sitting there thinking, you know, what am I going to do next? I'm thinking, oh, another Battle Cruiser game. Oh, another Universal Combat game. I'm like, no, you know, let's do something. You know, I figured, you know, if I went, to be honest with you, I had the most selfish ulterior motives imaginable. I figured, you know what? Okay, these bastards have been bitching at me for the longest time. And I know most of them like free space. Now, maybe if I went and got the free space title and, you know, I did a free space 3 that's true, to, to what they've, they've, they've been used to. It's modernized, it's supported, you know. Make, that'll earn some goodwill, okay? And then I give them Free Space 3, they get all happy, I don't screw it up, you know, God willing. You know, I get some goodwill from there, and those people come back and say, hey, you know what, hey, that crazy guy who did Free Space 3, he's got a new game coming out, that's gonna take a look. For me, even that would have been a multi-million dollar gamble. For, it's, I mean, we spend that much on marketing anyway. That yeah. was the thing. So somehow, I don't know how it got out. As is expected, a bunch of people were like, don't let him get his hands on it. You know, this is the people who have no idea how the system works. You know, there isn't a single IP on this planet you couldn't back up a truck with money in and not get it. Okay. Right now, the only thing preventing me from getting a free space license to do free space three is A, schedule, two, what terms we can agree on. That's it. But unfortunately, I, you know, things went a different way, and I thought, you know what? If I embark on that right now, it might take away, it might be too big of a gamble, you know. I could spend two, three years doing free space three, okay? The industry may have moved on. It's a purely space game. There's no way I'm going to put first-person perspective in that game and have people not bitch at me. Okay? So they would expect... You see, this is the thing. As a franchise property for Free Space 3, people who are near and dear to that game would expect more of the same but modern. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Now, did I want to put four or five million dollars into a game like that, to be honest with you? No. I don't. You know, as a market, look, look, I spend a lot of money doing light of defense game tactics as a marketing spend for LOD. How it came out was completely unexpected. Those are the gambles that I take. But yeah. for me, that marketing gamble on Free Space 3, because I don't design games I don't want to play, even as much as I loved, loved it, I don't believe that I would have been doing the game justice by just doing a Free Space 3, different story, nicer graphics, give people more of the same, a space game, by the way, and expect it to do well. You know, that was really the decision. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to put it on ice for now. I went on to develop, you know, my, my other game, the All Aspect Warfare series, and right around the time I started thinking about doing Line of Defense, I thought about it again. And now the tactics is finished and out. You know, we're working on DLC and, you know, Xbox One version. And LOD MMO winding down, I reopened those discussions about getting that, you know, uh, uh, a license because Elite Dangerous, yeah. Star Citizen, I figure, okay, hey, there's a resurgence of space games. So maybe now would be a good time to do a free space game that's true to the sequel without putting any other crap in it that people are going to bitch at me about. And if it's a Unity game and you stay, you know, as close as possible, then you, you, you're you on the all, you know, all platforms. So that's what that was about. It's not like, you know, I didn't want to do it. It was just too much of a gamble and I was just too scared that I might put something in it, you know, that people may not want. I mean, the idea was I wanted, I wanted to, I wanted them to be able to walk through the entire ship. Something I'm doing right now in, 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 in the LOD. I wanted people to be able to take the combat to the enemy, maybe on their home base, maybe make one, maybe just one or two of the planetary bases accessible. But guess what? The danger of that is people are going to say, hey, look, he's trying to turn it into one of his games. 
That was the danger of that. That's what discouraged me from doing it. That was primarily what, because I did not want to spend that kind of money doing the same game, but monetized as a space combat game and expect it to do well. It just wouldn't do well in this market. It just wouldn't. It needs more. So that's the story with that.